In this NetEdit Wonder One tutorial, we will present how to install NetEdit in vSphere. We'll first visit the NetEdit 1.1 VM specifications, then we'll go through the installation process, and finally, we'll take a look at the initial configuration of the VM. The OVA comes pre-configured with the following specs. Six CPUs, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and 115 gigabytes of storage. So with these basic parameters, the NetEdit server will give you perfect performance and will cover the needs of your current deployment. To install NetEdit 1.1, we'll get into our ESXi server console and go to create register a VM. And here we'll have to choose deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or OVA file. The reason is that NetEdit is distributed as an OVA file. Next, we're going to give this a name. So this is the name for the VM. And we're going to select the file, the OVA, that we're going to be deploying. So here's our OVA, Aruba underscore NetEdit dash dot OVA. The name again is netedit.1.1, and we're going to say next, selecting the data store, and the network. So we're going to select the VM network here. Pay attention to this. The disk provision is going to be thin. That is the recommended um, selection there, and we are going to power this on automatically. So the NetEdit server is ready, it is up, and now I'm going to connect to the console to do the first part of the configuration, which has to do with its networking parameters. I'm going to go to the console, going to launch remote console, and let me say yes here. I'm going to wait a few seconds, and we are going to get into the console of our new NetEdit server. It's connecting right now and I'll expand this and we're ready to get started. So the NetEdit server login by default is called or the username for this is called any admin. So we're going to enter any admin and this user has no password. So I've just entered the password twice, and now I'm being prompted to enter the pseudo password for this same user. This same user has root access to everything if you enter the pseudo password. So password. And now NetEdit is being installed as a service, and the service will start. When the service starts for the first time, it will bring up a wizard that will allow us to configure the basics in networking. So this is the interface of the wizard. I will show you later how to get back to this wizard if you need. So I'm going to say next. For this uh, tutorial, I'm just staying with the starter pack to say I agree. And I'm going to change from DHCP to static, which is recommended. So you always know where to find your server. And here I'm going to say 15. So 10.6.8.15. And with the default mask for a class C, the default gateway is 10.6.8.1. And this is my primary DNS. I don't have a secondary DNS on this lab. So I'm going to enter the NTP server which is the same as the DNS. I'm ready to go to the next page, so I'm going to say next. 
and there's nothing else to configure so as you can see you are prompted to verify everything seems okay so i'm going to take the next step and these changes are being applied it takes a few seconds and then we'll get a summary of what happened which is this one and now i'm going to say okay and i'm back at the prompt as you can see when you finish this you get a configuration summary and at the bottom there's a notice that says you can reconfigure the network by typing sudo python net edit underscore config dot pi minus f yes so with that command you'll go back to that wizard that we just run another small detail is in this version of Debian, you will not uh, find the ifconfig command. So if you want that information, you just say IP space A, enter, and there you are. There you have all your information. The IP address that we just entered is uh, seen here as the Ethernet zero or you know the second uh, interface in this server. The first interface is the loopback, so that's all we need to see. With this configuration, we should be ready to connect to the web user interface of our new NetEdit server. So I'm going to say 10.6.8.15 and to go to advanced and I'm accepting the new certificate. And here I am, ready to log in for the first time. A couple details on the first login here. Remember, when we logged into the console of the NetEdit server, we used a username called NEAdmin. That account in the NetEdit server is separate from the account that we are going to use at the web user interface. Here, the default user is called admin and it doesn't have a password to start with. So let me show you what would happen in the first login, but we will repeat this and go through the details in another tutorial. So you log in with admin and no password and what happens is that you get prompted to enter the new password. So those are the steps to get into your NetEdit server for the first time. Thank you.